Hand tools. Hand tools. Hand tools are tools that are operated manually without the use of electricity or other power sources. They are typically simple and portable, designed for a variety of tasks. Screwdrivers are used for driving screws into materials or removing them. Pliers are used for gripping, bending, and cutting wires. Wire strippers are used to remove the insulation from electrical wires. Soldering iron is used to melt solder for joining electronic components. Multimeter measures voltage, current, and resistance in electronic circuits. Safety measures of hand tools. Personal protective equipment. PPE always wear appropriate PPE such as gloves, safety glasses, and protective footwear. Inspection. Regularly inspect tools for damage or wear before use. Proper use. Use the right tool for the job to prevent accidents. Proper handling of hand tools. Secure grip. Maintain a firm grip to avoid slipping. Correct posture. Use ergonomic practices to avoid strain. Storage. Store tools properly to prevent damage and ensure they are easily accessible. Borrowing procedures of hand tools. Checkout system. Implement a system to track borrowed tools. Condition check. Inspect tools before and after borrowing to ensure they are returned in good condition. Training. Ensure users are trained on proper use and safety measures. Cleaning. Remove dirt and rust. Use a wire brush or steel wool to remove dirt and rust. For stubborn rust. Soak tools in a vinegar solution. Lubrication. Apply a light coat of oil to prevent rust and ensure smooth operation. Tightening. Check fasteners. Regularly check and tighten screws, bolts, and nuts to ensure tools are secure and safe to use. Simple repairs. Replace handles. If a handle is cracked or broken, replace it with a new one. Sharpen blades. Use a sharpening stone or file to keep blades sharp and effective. Common malfunctions of hand tools. Broken handles. Handles can break or crack under excessive force or due to wear and tear. Dull blades. Cutting tools like saws and knives can become dull, making them less effective and more dangerous to use. Loose fasteners. Screws, bolts, and nuts can become loose, leading to unstable tools. Rust and corrosion. Exposure to moisture can cause rust, weakening the tool and making it unsafe. Computer equipment. Computer equipment refers to the physical components that make up a computer system. Motherboard is the main circuit board that houses the CPU, memory, and other essential components. CPU, Central Processing Unit, is the brain of the computer that performs instructions defined by software. RAM, Random Access Memory is a temporary storage that provides space for the computer to read and write data to be accessed by the CPU quickly. Hard drive slash SSD, solid state drive are storage devices used to store data permanently. Power supply unit, PSU converts electrical power from an outlet into usable power for the computer's components. Safety measures of computer equipment, electrical safety, Ensure all equipment is properly grounded and avoid overloading circuits. Ergonomics. Set up workstations to promote good posture and reduce strain. Regular maintenance. Keep equipment clean and perform regular maintenance checks. Proper handling of computer equipment. Handling cables. Avoid bending or twisting cables excessively. Static precautions. Use anti-static wristbands or mats when handling internal components. Proper shutdown. Always shut down equipment properly to avoid data loss and hardware damage. Borrowing procedures of computer equipment. Inventory management. Keep a detailed inventory of all equipment. User agreements. Have users sign agreements outlining their responsibilities. Return policy. Clearly define the return process and deadlines. Cleaning. Dust removal. Use compressed air to blow out dust from keyboards, vents, and other components. Wipe surfaces with a microfiber cloth. 
Screen cleaning. Use a screen cleaner and a soft cloth to clean monitors and screens. Tightening. Check connections. Ensure all cables and connectors are securely plugged in. Tighten any loose screws on the casing. Simple repairs. Replace components. Swap out faulty components like RAM, hard drives or power supplies. Keyboard keys. Replace or reattach loose or broken keys. Common malfunctions of computer equipment. Overheating. Poor ventilation or excessive use can cause components to overheat, leading to shutdowns or hardware damage. Power surges. Sudden power surges can damage internal components like the motherboard, power supply, or hard drive. Software crashes. Unplanned software crashes can occur due to bugs, malware, or incompatible updates. Loose connections. Cables and connectors can become loose, causing intermittent connectivity issues. Electronic systems. An electronic system is a physical interconnection of components or parts that gather, process, and output information. Oscilloscope is used to visualize electrical signals and their changes over time. Function generator produces various types of electrical waveforms over a wide range of frequencies. Breadboard is a construction base for prototyping electronics, allowing for the creation of temporary circuits without soldering. Capacitance meter measures the capacitance of capacitors in a circuit. Inductance meter measures the inductance of inductors in a circuit. Safety measures of electronic systems. Voltage awareness. Be aware of the voltage levels you are working with and use appropriate safety gear. Isolation. Isolate power sources before working on electronic systems. Proper tools. Use insulated tools to prevent electrical shocks. Proper handling of electronic systems. Component handling. Handle components by their edges to avoid damage from static electricity. Clean environment. Work in a clean, dry environment to prevent contamination. Documentation. Keep detailed records of any modifications or repairs. Borrowing procedures of electronic systems. Authorization. Ensure only authorized personnel can borrow equipment. Tracking. Use a tracking system to monitor borrowed items. Condition reports. Require condition reports upon return to identify any issues. Cleaning. Dust and debris. Use compressed air to remove dust from circuit boards and other components. Avoid using liquids. Contact cleaner. Use a contact cleaner to clean electrical contacts and connectors. Tightening. Secure connections. Ensure all connectors and terminals are tight to prevent loose connections that can cause malfunctions. Simple repairs. Soldering. Use a soldering iron to repair broken solder joints or replace small components. Replace fuses. If a fuse is blown, replace it with one of the same rating. Common malfunctions of electronic systems. Short circuits. Electrical faults can cause short circuits, potentially damaging components or causing fires. Component failure. Capacitors, resistors, or other components can fail due to age, stress, or manufacturing defects. Signal interference. External electromagnetic interference can disrupt the functioning of electronic systems. Firmware issues. Bugs or corruption in firmware can lead to system malfunctions. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe my channel.